If you traveled back to the late Cretaceous, you would almost certainly see some of these, hadrosaurs, or duck-billed dinosaurs. Here at the Texas Science and Natural History Museum, we have the skulls of three types, Erythosaurus, Paraceralophus, and Proceralophus. Many of these hadrosaurs had elaborate crests, which were likely brightly colored to allow for communication between species, but they weren't just for show. These crests were connected to their nasal passageways and would allow them to act as reverberation chambers to create loud, unique songs. These songs could be used to attract mates or to communicate danger from a predator. Unlike their horned neighbors, the ceratopsians, hadrosaurs present no fossil evidence of physical defense. So what could they have done to defend themselves against predators? Some scientists hypothesize that their sounds could have been loud enough to cause deafness or paralysis in an attacking predator, especially when you have a herd of multi-ton hadrosaurs all shouting at you. So regardless of what they were used for, a herd of hadrosaurs would have been a sound to behold.